Hey guys, Williams Airborne Inflatable Channel here. Um, I'm in my backyard again. I'm gonna doing a review on the 2007 12 foot high inflatable haunted house. Um, this is my biggest inflatable I have um, owned. Uh, this is was new for 2007, but it's my newest inflatable for 2016. If you watched it uh, on the 2016 display video, it was on the very end of the yard. Um, due to this mass of the the mass of this product it takes a crap ton of stakes i'm just, i'm really sorry about that i just don't want it to fall over and this is the only way to i also have some stakes like holding like the bottom parts of it down now this particular haunted house takes two motors first of all one here there's one right here this is a tornado fan and this is just a normal fan but these both fold out obviously uh this one does not have the plug on it first of all that one does I do have this thing plugged in ready to go. Um, I do have some repaired holes in right near the fan. First of all, two here. Um, I think there's another one right here. Yeah, there is. Yeah, those are the only holes. Like, it's still in good condition. Um, this inflatable is about 12 feet long and about 13 feet high, so that's massive. And um, now this inflatable does not stand up on its own in wind, very heavy wind, a very soft wind. So it takes a hassle for it to get up uh, without falling over. Um, I still like have, it's still kind of inflate a little bit because I've had to unplug this thing and um, plug it in a few times to stake it down. So I actually unplugged it a couple of minutes ago to let it deflate for this video. Um, this um, does blow up strongly and it will stand up this time because I have a ton of stakes on it. Anyway, guys, here we go. So I'm gonna have to help, I'm gonna have to help it up while I'm making this too. That tower right there takes a couple minutes to inflate because it's got some like stuff in it that takes a while for it to inflate. Um, a lot of spiders and bats in here. Um, they're kind of crumpled up, but that's how it came because it was in the box for quite a while. And I'm thinking, since it was in a box for a while, it kind of crumpled up the spiders so they're not like um, uh, perfectly folded out. That bat's actually really crumpled up. Um, if you have like a steamer, it really helps to like uh, steam them like with the um, like use with your clothes to help like straighten them out and get them all nice and folded. One up there that's really crumped. Um, it's almost there. You got a lot of there's a light and uh, three lights in the tower. Here's the front side. There's a couple lights in the trees. Here's the Reaper guy. Um, so light in the lantern, still works. The light in his body, light in the, there's a couple, there's light in the tree, uh, uh, two lights in it. There's no lights in the tombstone, which really is bad. There's the towel with the armor in it. He's got a light in there in his head and the stomach of it. Um, there's the top of the tower. It's got a nice um, flag with the medieval times on it. Uh, it's Let's go back inside. There's a monster on there. It's really good. Um, there's a couple entrances here. This is another entrance. There's an exit right there, and this is supposed to be another entrance for the kids to come in. There's ghosts in these windows with the breaks in the walls. 
there's a ceiling up here. There's a spider, isn't there? I have some caution tape in 2016 hanging down. You couldn't see it because it was dark outside in the 2016 video. Here's a noise box. It still works. It's got a battery in it. And it has strobe lights and it plays three different sounds. Hang on. Strobe lights all work, nice and bright. We'll go all through this place. Come up there. It's another tower up there. Tree. There's a zipper up there. Lights all through here. It makes it look more scarier too. If you put animatronics in it, it makes it like it's a real haunted house. Play the next one. Uh, this is motion or sound activated, so whenever you walk by it or yell in front of it or touch it, that'll set it off. There's like there's strings holding down at here and here. Play the last one. Yeah, this is a massive house, it's a 2007 model. I have another haunted house. Um, it's got a second blower in it too because it does not inflate fully with its own motor. Yeah, it's kind of windy right now. So I'm gonna have to hold this down. I'll just get the wire in there. You can put an animatronic in the corner right here. Um, it works really good. There you go. Massive, really works good. Inflates very tightly with these two motors. Some people have it that doesn't inflate fully with the two motors, so they have to put another one in there. Here, I'll turn the sound box off. So, I keep the sound box off until Halloween day, because I want to save the batteries and not like wake up the neighbors. Um, Normally you want to keep it out like or actually away from rain because it can damage the sound box unless you put like a plastic baggie on it. Um, there's velcro things that hold the wires in. Um, it's nice. Anyway, um, yeah, this is my biggest haunted house ever. I will do another review on the other haunted house soon. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do a deflation real quick. immediately falls down. It takes like a couple minutes for it to deflate because of its mass. Everything turns off, deflates. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, remember to like this video and subscribe. Anyway, uh, I'll be in back again with another house very, very soon. Anyway, tomorrow's Easter. Happy Easter. Um, or early Easter. I won't have any um, Easter inflatables to do because I don't have any. So, uh, yeah. See ya!